Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be reviewing tips for performing a drain and fill for the transmission fluid on this 2023 Nissan Rogue with the Xtronic CVT transmission. Now let's get started. Symptoms associated with old or dirty transmission fluid include overheating of the transmission and engine, sluggishness of the transmission, and a burned oil smell. Also, you will have the ever-present trouble codes P0700, 705, 706, 720, or 730. Our supply list includes a three-ton hydraulic jack with the support, a five-quart measuring bucket, clear hose and a funnel, seven to nine quarts of Nissan CVT fluid, NS-3. We have a small ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket, flat tip screwdriver, large. We have a clip remover and a very small flat tip screwdriver. Please see other items in the description below. The drain and fill method described in this video uses simple subtraction and addition to drain and fill the transmission. It does not include a filter change. This video is for educational purposes only. Please refer to your manual for specifications and warranty details. The technical manual for this vehicle specifies that the fluid be changed every 25,000 miles. After placing the vehicle on a flat surface, I jacked the vehicle up high enough for me to get underneath the front of the vehicle and remove the five or six clips and bolts along the front of the cloth engine cover. From there, I was able to fold the cover downward and back to provide access to the transmission fluid pan. After that, I went to the top of the engine and then I proceeded to remove so that I could use it to refill the transmission with fluid. So I'm going to show you how it looks underneath the vehicle. That is located and then we'll proceed with the drain and fill. So this is a view underneath the front of the vehicle looking from the passenger side towards the driver's side. You can see that I have removed all the clips and bolts from the front cover and then I simply push down the cover and you can see how just it just kind of hangs down. Okay, it's the same method you would use if you were going to change the oil. Moving towards the transmission, that's the driver's side. We're going to identify the drain for the transmission and it's the plug is located right here. So that the transmission is located on the driver's side of the vehicle and the engine is pretty much located on the passenger side of the vehicle. Do not get these mixed up. This is not the oil drain. This is the transmission fluid drain, just to be clear. Okay, moving to the top of the vehicle. Okay, I'm standing in front of the vehicle at the bumper looking towards the windshield. I'm going to pan over and zoom in to the transmission port because it's not a dipstick, it's just a port with a cap on it. And so there it is right there, right there in the center of your picture. You may want to attempt to remove this cap prior to removing the lower engine cover because if you are unable to remove this cap, then you can't refill the transmission. So I, just think about that before you start your process. But I'm gonna quickly show you what I did to remove this cap and I saw it on another video. I'll give credit to that person in the description below. The guy had it nailed and I followed his procedure. It worked. So this is what I did using my very small flat tip screwdriver. So what I, I'm just gonna place my screwdriver in there. And so what I wanna show you is there's, you see that metal, that piece of metal inside of the, of the, the housing or the clip. To the right side of the screwdriver, there's that metal. That metal has a hole in it. To the left side of the screwdriver, there's a, a piece of plastic that 
pushes outward and into a hole and it, it holds that cap in place really tight as I'm sure you've realized. And so what I did was I placed my screwdriver between the metal plate and the tip of that piece of plastic that was pushing outward into the hole. And so you're gonna have to take a couple of tries to do that and you have to basically, you if you have to look in there real very closely and you'll see, oh, there's that piece of plastic right there. And you can get in between it and the metal plate and then push it to the left. And when you do that, you'll be able to remove the cap. Okay, so now we're beneath the vehicle and we're ready to drain the fluid. We have a empty, five quart bucket this is critical must not be any fluid in this bucket because we're going to closely measure the amount of fluid that's being drained from this transmission so go ahead and use your 19 millimeter socket loosen the plug slowly start draining into this five quart bucket remember this transmission holds between seven and nine quarts you may overflow this bucket what i would do is fill up to four quarts stop it plug the drain write that down four quarts take that four quarts pour it in a, a waste jug and store it off to the side with a clean pail start draining again so you're going to drain another four quarts if that fills up you're gonna drain that off into another jug. Now you're on your third drain and whatever that comes out to be, so it could, let's say it's nine quarts. You've drained four, four, and then you should have one quart in the bottom of this bucket. And you need to write that down because that's how much you're going to replace into the transmission. And it's just that straightforward. Let's go ahead and move to the top of the vehicle. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the transmission port plug and set it off to the side. Go ahead and install your funnel and clear hose into that port, just like that. Very straightforward. You'll want to have the hose as flat as possible so that the fluid drains evenly. Now, before you start pouring any fluid in there, go ahead, check under the bottom of the vehicle and make sure that, that drain plug is installed for the permanent installation. You will not be removing this drain plug anymore. Let's head back to the top of the vehicle. Hypothetically, let's say you drain seven quarts of fluid. So at this time, you're gonna go ahead and slowly pour exactly seven quarts of fluid back into the transmission. So continue the process until you've reached seven quarts. I wanna let you know this is a very slow process. So you're gonna get bubbles in your line. You're gonna get a little air in your line. You may even want to pick up this funnel and make it go faster. Be careful when you do that because it could spill. And this fluid is very expensive and I don't want you guys to waste your money. So just be very careful when you're moving the hoses and the funnel and make sure that that hose is at least one inch down into that port. Once the amount drained has been replaced into the transmission, stop, do not add any additional fluid. Go ahead, remove the clear holes and funnel and replace the transmission port cap back on the port. Replace the cover and all of the clips beneath the vehicle. Be sure that the cover is very secure. You may need to purchase additional clips for any clips that may have been broken. You may also use zip ties to temporarily secure the cover. Do not, under any circumstance, attach less than the minimum amount of clips and drive the vehicle because the air will get underneath the vehicle and pull the cover off. And it's a very integral part of the aerodynamic stability of the vehicle. So it must have a cover beneath it. Those are my tips. I'll go ahead and wrap this video up at this point. So this concludes the video on the drain and fill of the 2023 Nissan Vogue with the 1.5 liter turbo. This is the SL version with the CVT Xtronic transmission. I hope you guys found my tips to be helpful. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, drive defensively.